That would get your full attention. Flames shooting out of an engine on a flight to Manchester, New Hampshire. That plane was forced to turn around and land, and it did so safely in Philadelphia. And tonight, the passenger who shot that video says it was one of the most horrifying moments of his life. Jim Smith is live in the Satellite Center for us, and Jim, he had no idea what was happening. That's for sure, Jonathan and Lisa, and there's really no other way to say it. This passenger thought he was going to die along with everybody else on this aircraft, and it all began with a loud explosion on the wing. It was panic at 5,000 feet. Flames shooting from the engine of a Republic Airlines jet with 75 passengers and four crew members on board. The flight had just left Philadelphia International Airport when the trouble started. That's when passenger John Vienne began shooting this incredible video. All of a sudden, there was like a large, a loud bang, just bang, and flames shot by my window. Five seconds later, the same thing. Boom! Flames shot by my window. And at this point, like, people on the plane thought that we were going to die. His mother, father, and sister were all on board, headed back to the family home in Chichester, New Hampshire. It was like seeing death right there. All I could picture was like in the movies when you see the flames shoot out the side of the airplane and then it just comes over and you're done. The flight crew cut the engine and turned back to Philly. John thought they were landing in the water, but somehow they made it back despite the crippled engine. It was the most terrifying experience I've ever had in my life. I thought I was going to die. Like I was just waiting for the next explosion to happen and just wipe me out. When we landed, everyone applauded. It was like a standing ovation. And who can blame them after all? John was able to get on a different flight, and tonight he's safely on the ground back in New Hampshire. The airline is looking into the reason for this problem. Live in the Satellite Center, Jim Smith, WBZ News.